As I stand before you this morning, I am proud to accept the charge and the challenge of serving you as the 18th president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. On September 24, 1999, Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson was inaugurated president of Rensselaer, becoming the first African-American woman to head a national research university. For Dr. Jackson, this was the most recent pioneering achievement in a career marked by historic firsts. She is the first African-American woman to receive a doctorate from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in any subject. She is one of the first two African-American women to receive a doctorate in physics in the United States. She is both the first woman and the first African-American to serve as chairperson of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, appointed by President Clinton, a position she held from 1995 to 1999. While at the NRC, Dr. Jackson initiated a strategic assessment and rebaselining of the agency, introduced risk-informed performance-based regulation, led the development of a new reactor oversight program, and created with the commission a license renewal process for operating reactors in the United States. During this time, Dr. Jackson spearheaded the formation of the International Nuclear Regulators Association in 1997 and was elected the group's first chairman by the world's most senior nuclear regulatory officials. A theoretical physicist, a scientist first and foremost, Dr. Jackson has distinguished herself in industry, academia, and government. From 1976 to 1991, Dr. Jackson conducted groundbreaking research in theoretical physics, solid state and quantum physics, and optical physics at AT&T Bell Laboratories in Murray Hill, New Jersey. From 1991 to 1995, she was professor of physics at Rutgers University while concurrently serving as a consultant in semiconductor theory to AT&T Bell Laboratories. She has served on a U.S. Department of Energy task force and on a number of national and regional government committees, as well as on the boards of several global corporations. Throughout her remarkably diverse career, Dr. Jackson has achieved numerous honors and distinctions. She was named a fellow by the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and of the American Physical Society. She holds honorary doctoral degrees from the country's most prestigious institutions. In 1998, Dr. Jackson was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame, and in March 2000, she was awarded the Golden Torch Award for Lifetime Achievement in Academia from the National Society of Black Engineers. On a personal level, Dr. Jackson is married to Dr. Morris A. Washington, also a physicist. They have one son, Alan, who just completed his first year at Dartmouth College. Scientist, scholar, teacher, leader, Dr. Jackson has time and again overcome barriers to gender and race to set entirely new standards of excellence. Her boundless energy and keen intelligence have impressed scientific peers, students, and world leaders alike. With this latest honor, induction into the Witte Foundation's Hall of Fame, Dr. Jackson achieves yet another milestone. In a career decorated by so many firsts, it will certainly not be her last.